Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing the latest coding question which was asked in Delta X exam. As you all know that for 2026 on campus hiring is going on for Delta X. So in this particular video, I am discussing the actual coding question which was asked in Delta X exam exam on 25th July 2025. Guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because you will get to know about that what type of question can be asked from you in your exam. And also previously also on this channel, I have made videos regarding MCQ questions which were asked in Delta X exam. So after watching this video, do check out the links are in the description box. Okay, so guys now let's start this video. Before starting the video, make sure you do two to three things. First thing is hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate me for making more such videos. And also guys, do join this Telegram group. The link of this Telegram group you will find in the description box. Lot of discuss discussion regarding Delta X exam is happening in this group. Okay, do join it. Lot of your doubts will be cleared here. Okay, and also do write in the comment section that on which stage of Delta X hiring you are like MCQ round pending, coding round pending or interview pending. Do write in the comment section. Okay. So now let's start the video. So please hit that like button. Okay. So guys, first of all, I will be discussing the question, then the approach of this question and finally the coding part of this question. Okay. So question here is given an array of non-negative numbers, the task is to find the first equilibrium point in the array. The equilibrium point in the array is an index such that the sum of elements before that index is the same as the sum of the elements after that index. Return equilibrium index in zero based indexing. Return minus one if no such points exist. Okay. So let's just understand it with uh, better. So here you are given an array. Okay. One, two, zero, three. You need to find the equilibrium index. Now, what does equilibrium index stand for? If the sum of all the elements before that index is equal to the sum of the elements after that index then it is an equilibrium index okay so here the output is 2 that is the second index is the equilibrium index this is the equilibrium index let's see the definition so sum of the elements before the equilibrium index so it is 1 plus 2 it is 3 sum of the elements after that equilibrium index you can see 3 so yes before and after are the same sum is same so therefore this this index is the equilibrium index Okay, if the equilibrium index is not present, return minus one. So let's see the next example. Double one, oh, one, one, four times once. Okay. Now, is there any index where the sum of elements before that index is equal to the sum of the elements after that index? So if you will look closely, if you will find this index, is it equilibrium index before this index, the sum is one. After this index, the sum is so it is not an equilibrium index. So is it this the equilibrium index? Answer is no because before before it is the sum is 2 and after this is the sum is 1. So it is not an equilibrium index. So it means in, in entire this array there is no equilibrium index. Therefore we have written minus 1. Let's see with the help of next example. This is the example that is given to you and output is the third index is the equilibrium index. So this is the equilibrium index third index. So let's see the sum of the elements before this index but it is so minus 7 plus 1 is minus 4 or minus 6 minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1. So before the sum of the elements before this index is minus 1. Let's see after the sum of the elements after this index. So it is minus 4 plus 3 minus 1 plus 0 minus 1. So yeah so sum of the elements before this index is also minus 1 the sum of the elements after this index is also minus 1. So therefore this third index is the equilibrium index and we have returned it as the output. I hope now the question is clear to you. Now let's just quickly see the approach of this question. Okay, so now let's just discuss the approach of this question. So we have taken this array as input. Now what we'll be doing, we'll be taking two new arrays. Okay, one will be used for storing the left sum and one array will be used to store the right sum. Let's just see how this left sum and right sum array will behave. So we have taken two variables which will store sum of left and next variable is which will store sum of right. Now let's first fill this left array and then we'll fill in the right uh, right array. So this is the left sum array. Now I have told you an equilibrium index is if the sum on the left side of its element is equivalent to the sum of its right side element. So if we have if we are at a current element, let's suppose we are at this position. So here the sum will be the sum of all the elements to the left of it, not including it. Okay try to understand this clearly if I am at this current position if I am at this current position so the left 
array will contain the sum of the elements towards the left of this element in not include excluding this element so if i start filling this array okay sum l is 0 sum r is 0 so we are at the when we are filling this left sum array so we are at this position okay so what is the sum of the elements before this index sum of the elements before this index is 0 right now we are coming at the next index this is the first index now what is the sum of the elements before it what is the sum of the elements before this index excluding this element so it will be sum 0 plus the previous one that is minus 7 okay sum 0 minus 7 so it will be minus 7 okay it will be so here it will be minus 7 now again we are moving towards this index so what is the sum sum of all the elements before it so we will do sum l plus arr of minus 1 so arr of minus 1 is 1 so minus 7 plus 1 equivalent to minus 6 so here it will come minus 6 now we will move ahead towards this element what is the sum of all the elements towards the left of it it will be sum of l that is minus 6 sum of l that is minus 6 plus the previous element minus 6 plus 5 that is equivalent to minus 1 so now here the value will be minus 1 okay minus 1 similarly we will move towards this index what is the sum of the elements left of it so it will be sum of l plus the previous element that is 2 so it will be 1 okay so here it will be 1 now we move towards this index so what is the sum of the elements before it so it will be 1 that is sum l plus the previous element that is minus 4 so it will be it will be 1 minus 4 minus 3 okay so next is it is minus 3 now we'll move towards the next element that is this so 0 so it will be minus 3 plus 3 equivalent to 0 minus 3 plus 3 equivalent to 0 yeah so it will be here it will be 0 so it means that all the elements before 0 the sum is <coughs> the sum is 0 only so let's just see so minus 7 minus 11 and 5 2 7 8 yeah so all the elements before 0 is 0 only so this is how we have filled out the left array similarly we will be fill out, filling out the next array based on the right side so right side will be on the left array what we will doing for the current index we will checking the left side but now on the right side we will start filling the array from backwards and for every element we will be checking for every element we will be checking the sum of the all the elements towards right of it towards right of it so first of all starting with zero okay sum of r was zero <clears throat> okay so what is the sum of the elements towards right of it so zero does not have any right element so sum will be zero only next is we are at this index what is the sum of the elements towards right of it it will be sum of r plus index plus one plus index plus one that is this zero so zero plus zero equivalent to zero only so sum of r becomes zero so it will be zero here now we are at in this index so what we'll do <coughs> what is the sum of the elements towards right of it so it will be sum of r plus the element just at the right of it so it will be 3 okay so sum 0 plus 3 equivalent to 3 so answer here will be 3 now we'll move towards this index so again what we'll do we will do sum of r plus the element towards the right of it so 3 plus minus 4 3 plus minus 4 will become minus 1 okay minus 1 next we'll move towards this <coughs> element so it will be sum of r plus element towards right of it so minus 1 plus 2 equivalent to 1 okay equivalent to 1 similarly we will fill out to this that's at this element it will be sum of r plus the next element so 1 plus 5 equivalent to 6 so it will be 6 here <coughs> okay similarly the last element so it will be minus uh, this this will be sum of r plus 1 so it will be 6 plus 1 equivalent to 7 here so if you will see this number denotes that the sum of sum of all the elements towards right of minus 7 is 7 so it will be 1 plus 5 plus 2 that is 8 8 minus 4 is 4 4 plus 3 is 7 so yeah we have filled out this array correctly now we have to find that equilibrium index where the sum of the left element is equivalent to sum of the right element so if you will look closely you can see here the this array denotes if we are at this index so this array denotes that the sum of the left element is minus 1 all the elements towards the left of it is minus 1 and this array denotes the sum of the right elements from this element is minus 1 so here you can see both of these values are same index is same okay 
so it means same index is same so it means this is our equilibrium index and we need to return the first equilibrium index here so i hope now the approach is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question okay guys before moving ahead make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel if you have not done it till now because every day we will be posting the video regarding delta x and different different companies which will be hiring and guys if you have not joined this telegram group till now please join it because lot of discussion regarding delta x hiring is happening in this group don't miss any of these updates do join it the link of this telegram group you will find in the description box okay now let's move towards the coding part so for saving time i have already written the code here okay so we are <coughs> implementing this function where the array is input and the length of that array is also an input okay now we have taken two arrays left array right array as we have described before and we have initialized it with zero two variables sum l right l and i have already discussed that what is the their significance now we will start by filling the left array first okay starting from the first index uh, i less than n i plus plus so we will keep on adding the previous element towards the sum of l okay sum of l plus equal to the previous element and then sum of l will be added in the left array i okay because ith index here denotes the sum of all elements towards the left of that element without including it so therefore sum of l plus the previous element and then in the left array we are adding that sum of l variable okay so this array we have filled it like this so this array is already filled similarly we will be filling the next array that is the right array starting from backwards okay starting from backwards we will do sum of r plus the next element in sum of l what we will do we were doing we were adding in sum of l we were adding the previous element but in sum of r we will be adding the next element because we are finding the sum of the all elements towards right of the current element okay so sum of r equivalent to the adding the next element and then that sum of r is assigned towards the current index of the right element right array i hope these two loops are over so after these two loops are over we will be getting these two arrays just like this okay i hope it's clear now we need to find the equilibrium index how we will find the equilibrium index we will iterate over the array and at a position where left of i is double equivalent to right of i that is at a position when left of i is double equivalent to right of i it means that this is an equilibrium index and we will simply be returning that index so if this condition is successful we are simply returning that index otherwise if the loop is over and we are not able to find any such condition then we are returning minus 1 that there is does not exist any equilibrium index i hope now the code is clear to you let's just see with the help of example if it is working fine or not so this is the input array and let me just run it the answer should come out to be 3 because 3 index is the equilibrium index so 3 is coming as answer let's just change the input 4 1 1 1 and the answer here should come out to be -1 because there does not exist any equilibrium index here so answer is coming as -1 so i hope this particular question and code is clear to you okay and this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you if you want more such videos do write in the comment section and do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate me for making more such videos and do join this telegram group it's dedicated for 2025 batch and 2026 batch students the link you can find in the description box thank you for watching this video